In the NFL is difficult. I mean, I would assume that. I have the build of an offensive lineman right here. And the only thing I know about when it comes to a pancake block, well, it has to do with heavy butter and heavy syrup. But you think about how many kids work their way up to that point, work all their lives to get to that point, can't compete at that level, or how quickly a guy can go from being productive to useless in the league. It's volatile. And then there's Patrick Mahomes, who just continues to make it look very very easy. He was brilliant again on Sunday. He saw what Alan Bowman did on Saturday and thought he would come with a masterful performance of his own. How about 326 yards, six touchdowns on the road in Pittsburgh. Good enough to pick up a victory. Now gives him 10 touchdowns through the first two games of the season. He's the first ever quarterback to do that in NFL history. I mean, you never expected to have 10 touchdowns at this point in the season, but I knew with this offense and the weapons that we had and the scheme Coach Reed's drawing up uh, that we had a chance to be really, really good and that the uh, possibilities are, uh, I mean, they're endless. I mean, we could really come out every single week and, do, and score points. It's all about me uh, getting the ball into those playmakers' hands, and you saw it today. They are breaking tackles and scoring points. It's awesome when you look at it now, uh, but, I mean, we're, we're not done. I mean, this is just a start. It's just the beginning of the season, so we're going to keep trying to get better every single week. Cowboys also in action hosting New York on, oh, Sunday night. Shout out Carrie Underwood. That's a great rendition. I know, she just showed up in the studio. You know who else is ready for Sunday night? Dak Prescott. He finds Tavon Austin on the first drive. 7 nothing Cowboys. And the Dallas defense got to Eli Manning early and often. How about Taco Charlton? I want to post a poll. If Taco Charlton was a local taco place, what would he be? I think fuzzies. He's handing them out there. Then Demarcus Lawrence comes through and gets a sack of his own. Shows off a little bit. Ah, oh, the grandeur of a sack. Then Ezekiel Elliott, he saw the tacos and he wanted to eat a little bit. So he gets into the end zone. Dallas wins this one by a final of 20 to 13. Meanwhile, for Texas Tech football this past weekend, we mentioned another quarterback's performance, that of freshman Alan Bowman in his 605 yards against Houston. But let's not forget about the performance of another freshman, running back Tajon Henry. He finished the game with 111 yards, four touchdowns. They loved it. First Tech running back to eclipse 100 yards and score four touchdowns in the game since DeAndre Washington. It'll be interesting to see what happens to him now in an even more crowded Red Raider backfield. His reps have really increased with those other two guys being out, and he, he's just uh, taking advantage of them. He's starting to understand our concepts, uh, you know, what to look for on certain run plays. And um, when he's had his opportunity with the ball in his hands, he's been pretty dynamic, and, and we need that to continue. The best guy's going to play, and um, we feel confident in, in all those guys, and, and we'll see who gets hot and kind of go from there.